Hi, Cole Bobo. Welcome in. Hi, Hacker. I just realized I made a typo in my go-live tweet. End me. me that's so mean it, it's funny because like there's no autocorrect when you use all caps that's the problem so i fucked up it's fine i don't care <laughs> my voice is kind of messed up today but we'll see wait are we in emote only chat no it's regular chat okay <laughs> i was like why are you guys just using emotes <laughs> Because there's been like way too many streams where I've gone live and kept it in sub only mode accidentally, so. Oopsie. I can speak, yeah. <laughs> Emo no, don't do that right away. I don't want anybody coming in and seeing an emote only chat. Well, well I'll, okay, I'll put a pin in it and we'll do it once I turn the camera on. Because imagine you get a notification and then you join the stream and then it's immediately emote only chat. <laughs> Hi, Kim. I'll wait, I'll wait a few minutes. Or no, I can save it for when there's like a really scary part of the game. That way you guys can just gasp the whole time. Why can't they just make... Editing tweets available for everybody. That'd be great. just kicked my desk <laughs> i think i finally found the perfect camera angle or camera face camera reveal in two minutes and we hit five million viewers i turned face cam on <laughs> that'd be a good bait to do every stream <laughs> Oh my god, four minutes, one minute to go. Thank you for the lurk, Crystal. Do you guys think it's bad if you can hear the person typing on stream? I think it's kind of charming. You know what else is charming? No. 
I think, okay, I think this, oh, welcome in everybody. We had Kim, Crystal, Kobobo, and Hacker in the Just Starting Soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. I think this right here is the perfect camera angle for me. The fit, yeah, we're going to wear this every Amori stream. Also, somehow, I think something like, no, I'm not doing, I'm wearing like basketball shorts. <laughs> no, no, nobody knows though. Somehow, like when I did laundry this week, something like leaked like you know when you wash like new denim and then it, it just leaks blue ink everywhere i don't have any new denim but like all of my like gray and white-ish clothes because i usually wash my whites in the with towels and shit but like this where it's just mostly black i put in my normal shit but it's like gray now it's fine against the black but it's gray and i don't know what bled anyway i think this is the perfect camera angle because <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, today, we are going to be continuing our Amori playthrough. So everybody, if you need to catch up on the lore, peep the pin message. I'll also put the link in chat for VOD watchers. Because I, um, I spelled it wrong. There we go. Um, all previous VODs are published on YouTube and on Twitch for two months. So if you want to catch up on all the other previous things that happened, check out the VOD channel. Also, trigger warning, this game has themes of violence and depression, so watch out. Also, I'm using the Joy-Cons today because the little buttons are smaller, and I think it's easier for me to press. Um, I'm borrowing my roommate's little holder, but I want to I wanna get like a cool one. Should I get the Splatoon one? Oh my god, hi Keelan, I didn't say hi. So we're gonna try this today. It feels weird because like when you grip it like this, you can't grip your hand all the way around the handle because the Joy-Cons are in the way, but I'll test it out today. Okay, so Hacker redeemed emote only chat a few minutes ago, so we'll, we'll do it now. We'll do it now. That way I'm not scamming. So emote only chat, spam away, put your favorite emotes in the chat room, everybody. <laughs> Also, peace I too. Oh, wait, there's a few things I wanted to address that we talked about yesterday, but I feel like for a normal gaming stream, I'll have more people. So, one, peace I too yo has been switched to be a follower emote. So, followers, you can say yo to everybody. I didn't want to be exclusionary. Also, um, I'd prefer if everybody in the chat room referred to me as peace or peace in. Not that I don't like my name, I just want to kind of separate myself from the person and then the online personality just for my mental health so if possible refer to me as peace don't refer to me as megat or meg it's okay if you slip up chatters if you forget it's fine don't call out other people just be mindful um is that it i think that's it oh follow the art channel it's pinned in the title please hi mac um, follow the art channel. I might go live on that channel tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, no stalling. Let's play the goddamn game. I also fixed the crop so you can see the paintings better, but I don't know. Because, okay, I like when you can see, like, more of the torso. I don't like when it's super zoomed in or cropped on their face. But I do like how Jerma does his crop. Okay, let's play. Oh, shit. The camera, like, blocks. I'm gonna fix my tripod. Because, like, the viewfinder blocks so much of my TV. <clears throat> Just for today. Because <clears throat> there's so much... Oh my god, there's so much reading. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Also, remind me to drink or have my lunch at noon. Because I'm changing my, like, um, food schedule to have breakfast at 8, lunch at noon, and then dinner at 4. Because I find when I eat too late, then I snack too much in between lunch and dinner. So remind me at the first ad break to eat. Oh my god, it's 11-11. Make a wish, everybody. <clears throat> Oh, I was pressing the directional key and it was not working. Oh my god, wait, hacker can type, I forgot. Imagine being a VIP.
Be I just noticed, look at the difference between the models with, like, Sunny and then Amori. Amori looks like a child. Oh yeah, I still go with my theory that Amori killed his sister. Dude, eight hours playtime. Okay, it's been five minutes. You're free. <clears throat> okay, so last week we got out of the silly forest, so now I need to figure out what we need to do. <laughs> okay, Mari. Oh, I'm so relieved you finally showed up. This forest is full of creepy crawlies. It sure has given me the heebie-jeebies. Not to mention I keep hearing skittering from up ahead. Seems like it could be something potentially dangerous, so you all should probably rest up. Okay. <laughs> I was like, we did a full heal last time. Hi, Mori. Cliff faced as usual, I see. You should totally smile more. I've always liked your smile. So, do you need me to help you with anything? All it costs is your love. <clears throat> I've looked all over, but it doesn't look like Basil is around this area either. We can't give up. Basil needs us. Okay, so I think I just need to go ahead. Hope to have helped you just a little. I'll be here if you need me. Oh, this is the fast travel guy, Pluto. Mailbox. Yes, hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Okay, I do need heals. I'll buy five just to be safe. Ugh, I only have 500 bucks. Never mind. I don't need it. I don't need it. If they die, they die. It's dead. Sprout mole. Is this like poison gas or something? Oh, turn back. Hear that directional hearing? I hated that. Oh my god, hi Chip. Oh, this music is nice. Oh, this this guy is made up of little sprouts. Hi, Batty. Dude, this music is crazy! Okay, this is the best music so far. Sorry, I'm bopping. It's nice. Alright, that's a good one, Kim. That's a good one. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's do deals damage to all foes. It's angry, uh oh. Okay, so it's eating the sprout molds to gain health. That's not cool. Okay, it didn't gain that much health. That's not as bad. Joy-Con controller feels so much better in my hands, honestly. I'm gonna have to get one for myself. Oh, you know what I did buy? Uh, Meg Esports did take out a small loan of a million dollars, and I did order a new capture card. Just so we can avoid having, like, one of them bug out all the time, so hopefully it works. Minus 200. Oh, look at him worry! Shit, I pressed the wrong direction. Oh wait, it worked? But surprisingly, when I plugged in both my capture cards today, they worked perfectly. I don't want to jinx it though. Don't those controller holders come with the Switch, do they? I don't know. I mean, it's my sister's Switch, so... Maybe it could have. I can ask her if I can, because this is my roommate. So I can ask if I can steal my sister's. <clears throat> oh, it's gonna heal again. Oh, the king crawler is like no health. Oh shit. This has got to be like the easiest quote-unquote boss fight ever. Like, it did basically no damage to everybody. I could do basically melee every round. Ooh, 2000 XP? Holy. Damn, everybody leveled up. Ooh, hero learned fast food. Dude, I want fast food so bad. We were talking about like fast food chicken yesterday on stream. Oh my god. Oh, we can move. We're free. Let's see if that guy back here was still alive. Oh, he is. He's alive. Plus one. I'm gonna- I'm gonna be annoying and talk to every single Sprout. Just on the slight off chance one of them actually says something. Or maybe they're all dead. Come on, one of them has got to be, like, grasping at life. <laughs> Batches. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna acknowledge every streak, but you guys hype each other up. Ooh! Sprout Mole Vi- Oh, we're back here. Sprout Mole Village. You guys can get clout off of each other. Uh, they announced that streak milestone thing as a beta function, like, a week ago, I think. But streamers can choose to disable it. I'll keep it enabled, just so you guys can feel cool. And then you guys will click on every stream, but I'm not gonna be like, wow, good job for clicking on the stream. So. <laughs> How do I talk to these people? Oh wait, Mario's here.
These promos are such funny little creatures. I just want to pick one up and squish it. Did you know Sprambos really love tofu? I bought some tofu at a tofu stand earlier. Feel free to try some. Plus one. Ah yes, some juicy tomatoes. Would you like to eat some? Yeah, even though I hate tomatoes. Is that like an ice statue? A table full of merchandise of an obnoxious looking person. Oh, hello, strange looking sprout moles. Are you here to see Sweetheart's quest for hearts? If so, you've come to the right place. This sold out extravaganza spectacular will be starting very shortly. Oh, wait, this is the show we have tickets to, right? <laughs> wait a second, I know this show. We have front row show tickets for it. Ah, I can see it now. A dazzling epic tale about the hardships of romance. Heartbreak, betrayal, desperation, loneliness. Oh, the drama. This is gonna be so fun. I can't wait to be swept off my feet. I don't know. I guess it looks interesting. But now it doesn't seem like the right time. But you promised we could earlier. Please, hero, we should at least check it out. Please, please, please. Begging. <laughs> well, all right. Hopefully this won't take too long. <laughs> if I may have your show tickets, please. Yes, of course, Mr. Sproutmole, sir. We have our tickets right here. I'll be reaching into your pocket and took out the show tickets. Here you go, Mr. Spratmole. Oh. Oh my! I can't believe my eyes! These are front row tickets! You... You all must have made some great sacrifices to be here today! I applaud you! Yeah, we killed every single Spratmole. Forgive me for calling you strange looking earlier. At a second glance, you four are the most normal looking Spratmoles I have ever seen! Please enjoy your front row seats, follow! Or fellow normal looking Spratmoles! Okay, I feel like if we go this way, it'll go to the showroom, so I want to look around a bit more. <laughs> Family mole. We sprout moles did not dare leave the colony ever since the great move. It was a hard time. Many of us didn't make it. Sprout moles were getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Oh, the horror! I mean, at least it's all okay now, for the most part. Family mode. I hate Mondays. <laughs> Brother mole. Hey, you there. Your creatures seem like well-seasoned travelers. Could you help me out? My brother lives in the Sprout Mole colony in Otherworld. I want to send him a care package, but I'm afraid of getting lost. Would you be able to deliver it for me? No, I don't I don't want to do any of the side quests, not gonna lie. Oh. I see. Okay then. Gotta pay me first. I can't be doing tasks without getting paid. Okay, actually, I wanna go to the show first. <laughs> There's way too many. Way too much to explore right now. I'm gonna get overwhelmed. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Somehow it reminded me of the church, the layout. Wow, look at this huge stage. It's with it's just as amazing. It's just as amazing as I imagined. Let's take our seats. It looks like the show's about to start.
Everybody get your popcorn. Sprout Mole Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special episode of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Before our show, we wanted to take a moment to honor the life of someone who has been an inspiration to us all. Our beloved leader, Yay O Sprout. Oh my god, we killed him. He was truly the father that none of us deserved. Let us have a moment of silence in memory of him. Everybody, peace I do pray. We're Sprout Mole now, we can... May he rest in peace. And now, on to the show. The last time at Sweetheart's Quest for Her Hearts, our favorite princess, once again, failed to fall in love with any of our eligible matches. Oh my god, a dating show. I love these. This time, We've rounded up three very new, attractive contestants! Will one of them be able to capture Sweetheart's heart? Let's reveal them now! Contestant number one is a local of Sprout Mole Village. He's coming in at three feet tall. His favorite food is tofu. He has a huge collection of plastic flamingos and enjoys long walks through narrow tunnels. Give it up for contestant number one, everybody! Contestant number two is, yep, you guessed it, also a local of Sprout Mole Village. Careful, he's coming in hot at that, at three foot and one whole inch. His hobbies include walking, running, and crawling. His favorite color combination is brown and green, and, his, and he spends his weekends rolling around in dirty laundry. Mmm, spicy. Give it up for contestant two. And now, for something completely different. Contestant number three comes all the way from other world. It's like he just fell out of the sky. Literally. According to him and us, that makes him a catch. Give it up for Snaily. Oh, there's less applause. And now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most pochidinous face. Yes, you know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. Please give a big warm welcome to the one, the only, the magnificent sweetheart. Uh oh. Yeah, he's a toasted marshmallow now. Oh no! There's a blackout! Now what do we do? I have to know what happens next! Let's wait it out. I'm sure the sprout moles will get the power back on in no time. Help! We don't know what to do! Help! We don't know what to do either! Help! 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 Well, maybe we should look around just in case. Okay, I can't go on the stage. There's gotta be like a breaker or a light switch somewhere. They just ignored us, someone just evaporated. I mean, if they didn't applaud for them, I think they're just being specious. You know, you gotta have one of your people win. Wow, I guess the blackout affected all of the Sprout Mole Village, too. Your own, what do we do now? Don't worry, Aubrey. This is where my handyman expertise comes into play. In cases like this, we should probably be looking out for some kind of backup generator. Okay, so I guess it is good that I didn't explore too much earlier. Damn, I really wanted to see the show. Okay, honestly, how scary would it be to, like, lose power in a theater? Like, when there's so many people in one place. <laughs> Don't 
Dunsmoon. This wall is nice and cold. Cinnamon. Hey, look at this cool thing I drew. Oh my god, wicked. Wait, look at the bottom right. That's the little shadow person. Hmm. Do you think we'll all still be friends after we graduate? No. Despite all my rage, I am still just a mole in a cage. That was good. Teacher Mole. I have no idea what I'm doing. I cannot be disturbed right now. This room is occupied. Oh, it's the restrooms. <laughs> Awkward. No humans allowed. This room is for sprout moles only. Why are there two planes hanging from the ceiling? Kind of weird. Double mole. We are two. We are one. We are twan. Oh, tofu. Tofu Josh. Hello, sir or madam. Would you be interested in purchasing some fine tofu? It will cost you exactly one clam. Thank you for your patronage. Plus one. Sprout mole. It never hurts to have tofu, tofu on you at all times. I've known I've gotten out of plenty of stinky situations with tofu. Beautiful mole. Look at me. I am truly the most beautiful sprout mole, am I not? Oh, they have like the little chef hats. It's so cute. Okay, Sue so Chef Mole. How dare you speak such blasphemy? It is only common knowledge that tofu is better when served hot. Are you mad? Any sprout mole with decent sense knows that tofu is better when served cold. Hey, there's no need to fight. Why don't you do to come to a compromise? Who knows? Maybe you're both right. Or maybe you can cook tofu in a way that hasn't been done yet. Somewhere between hot and cold, like... I don't know. Lukewarm? Ew. Lukewarm tofu? That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Even cold tofu is better than that. Lukewarm tofu? I want to throw up. Even hot tofu is better than that. This is a weird hill to die on. You know what else is weird? Not following the channel. Because guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you enjoy what you see, hit the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. <clears throat> Chef Mo. Ah, yes, welcome. You must be here to learn about the best culinary feast since sliced bread. Tofu. Jim Magnifique. Here's your tofu trivia for the day. Smoked tofu is a great alternative for meat. If you wish to know more about the amazing majestic tofu, feel free to talk to me again. Okay, so all I've learned is that smoked tofu is good. <laughs> okay, get it. I can't actually use the kitchen though look at this geezer oh he's the mayor <laughs> okay mayor mole i am working on revolutionary technology that will change all life in the colony nay the world okay We're gonna tag hero. Oh, I thought because there was like an, an anvil above it. I thought I had to like trigger hero to like knock it down or something. Oh, 
Oh, there's roots? Okay, and then the actual creature. I'm gonna attack the roots first. villain have like blood dripping from its mouth oh it we did like no damage holy because there's no like explicit there's been like nothing super gory in the game so it's just weird to see like the only the only like blood we've seen is just like little drips on the ground maybe we're gonna see a lot more of it soon Everybody's happy! Okay, my attacks aren't doing a lot. You stole one of your tomatoes, only reasonable explanation. Yeah, kiddos, that is what happened. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's, it's just tomato juice. I think when we're happy, it lowers our attack. I think that's what happens. I still don't know what the release energy function is. And I don't know what triggers it. Oh, no, Aubrey's dead! Oh, we're all ecstatic. Uh-oh. That's kind of scary. Everybody looks, like, way too enthusiastic. Stab. And do a crit. <laughs> you stabbed him right in the heart. Oh, the tofu only does five health. <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, RIP. Oh wait, if Momori dies, does everybody die? Shit. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to face this guy yet. Because our attacks- Oh, I can't- I'm gonna run. Okay, I got away, I got away. Because our attacks aren't doing enough damage. Like, see, there is an anvil. Hm. You probably have to talk to somebody, get some crazy upgrade. And then go back. Ooh, free bike. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. Excellent! You recorded the joke in your joke book. Ooh, plus one. Sport mode. Okay, I don't want to say that sound. <laughs> Bird mole. Squawk! Mm. 
Winter mold. Ah, winter. It may be snowing outside, but winter is time for friends and family. Cuddling next to a warm fire, sharing stories, sipping on hot cocoa, and most importantly, taking a breather after a long year. Winter is the best season, don't you agree? No, but I'll say yeah. Indeed, winter is the best season. Your agreement brings me great joy. Please have this gift. Winter is the season of giving, after all. Ooh, we get a scarf. Fall mold. Huh. I see that you have tossed your favor in the way of winter. You receive no gifts from me. Damn it, I wanted presents from everybody. Huh. Oh, come on. They're all gonna say the same shit. Sad. I didn't get to hear their monologues either. Warden Moon. Pick up the pace, boys! We must make haste! We're trying our best, Warden. This is as fast as we can go. Why isn't this working? I feel sick. Just keep running, moles. Nothing gets done without a little sweat. Chaos. A floating mirror. Your friends smile warmly behind you. Unplug the power. The wire isn't plugged into the outlet. Plug it in? Yeah. Warden Moan. What I say, Mole's hard work pays off. Now keep on running. Oh, were their treadmills not working? You wanna exercise with your friends? I guess we'll try it. And he was taking his sweet ass time. But Cal is zooming. Okay, it was just a cutscene, I skipped it. Okay, let's go back to the show. Miss Flamingo, ah! The humble abode of Rosa. The number one sweetheart fan of the world. What is this though? Looks like a giant peppermint stick. Family mole. Sprout moles, while intelligent, are also very obsessive creatures. As you can see, I lack any semblance of self-control. Are you saying that because your house is filled with flamingos? Is that a jab at like all the people who collect figurines? No, I do not want to cut the tree just yet. Box mold. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. Why not just celebrate Christmas all the time? Should we ruin his day, or get the little watermelon behind the tree? <laughs> Why is there a fire now? Did I do that? Oh, I got a present! Christmas is ruined! <laughs> you know, I needed that present though. Okay, let us go back and watch the show. You ruined his Christmas? But I wanted to steal his present! <clears throat> oh, Kianas. Mustache mole. 
Someone please help me. I am in need of a handsome young gentleman. You! Yes! You there in the striped pants. You magnificent beast. Yes. <laughs> yes, you look like you'll do just fine. Oh. Damn, I'm never the first pick, am I? Huh? Wow, uh... Why, thank you. I don't know what to say. Please, kind sir, will you help out a poor, lowly mole? I am desperately in need of your service. Why is he hitting on me? Well, since you asked so nicely, how can I refuse? Thank you, thank you, young lad. You are too generous. Please come this way now. Chop, chop. Wait, hold on. Can my friends come too? Ah, yes, your friends. You're all here to see the sweetheart's quest, yes? If so, you all meet again soon enough. Now come, sir. We must make haste. Time is sh I keep on changing the voices. <laughs> oh, here, I left the party, Sedge. Get your popcorn. Greetings, sweetheart fans. We apologize for the short intermission. Welcome back to our regularly scheduled program. During the break, we regret to inform you that a tragic accident has occurred right here on this very stage. Everybody, peace out to pray. It is at this time we announce the sudden loss of contestant number three. We will remember him fondly for the few seconds that we got to know him. He was truly a unique and irreplaceable soul. But the show must go on. Please give a warm welcome to our new contestant number three. Hailing all the way from the vast forest, it's our hero in shining armor. Oh. Sprout Mo Mike. Get this, guys. Here is a real hunk standing at a. Oh, it's the same voice, sorry. I thought Mike was a different guy. Get this, guys. Here is a real hunk standing at a whopping 5 7. His passions include baking, cooking, and cleaning. And if that doesn't sound like the perfect man, check out his killer smile and mild personality. And now, once again, it's time to introduce the star of the show. Dim the lights, please. She emits beauty. She exudes grace. She truly has the most polchitinous face. Yes. You know who we're talking about. She's all that is amazing and wonderful, and she is just about to set foot on this very stage. She's the one, the only, the magnificent. <laughs> An excellent entrance, my liege. <laughs> yes, it is me. Hello, my stupid, adoring fans. We love you, sweetheart. Yeah, you're the best. <laughs> sweetheart, we have brought three of the best bachelors in the world onto this stage. Will today be the day that one of them steals your heart? Let's start with some questions. One thing that Sweetheart's value is most in a companion is complete and absolute obedience. Do you, contestant number one, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Contestant number one, what is your answer? Contestant number one. Um, sure. I don't know. I guess. Playing hard to get, I see. What do you think about that response, Sweetheart? Hmm. Just three feet tall? My, that is much too short. Send him off to the dungeon. Hey, what, what, what did I say? The dungeon? Help me!
Now on to contestant number two. We ask you the same question. There's no right or wrong answer, just answer it truthfully. Contestant number two. Will you pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Well, um, sure. If that means I won't get sent to the dungeon. My word, this one. His very being offends me. Take him away, boys. Contestant number three. It looks like you're the last one standing. I'll ask the same question one more time. Again, no pressure at all. Do you, hero, agree to pledge your allegiance to Sweetheart for the rest of your life? Hi, Marmot. Welcome in. Can we get some peace out to Yos? Welcome in. I'm doing pretty good today. Hope we're doing well too, man. Well, no. This doesn't seem fair at all. Why would I do that? But we are tall. We are very tall. We're 5'7". My. This one. He's absolutely immaculate. Could it be? Is Sweetheart in love? What an exciting turn of events. This must be fate. A match made in heaven. Wait, but, but I just said... Ah, oh, yes, yes, you'll do just fine. Now, what was your name again? Huh? It's, uh... It's Hero, ma'am. Hero? My hero. We must go to my chambers at once. Who is she trying to smash? Guards, I have chosen my suitor. Take him away. Guys, please, do something. Whoa, Hero's gonna marry, sweetheart? I didn't see that one coming at all. Hell, what are you saying? We have to help him. What do you want me to do about it? I don't want to go to the dungeon. Ugh, Hell, you're so useless. Hero, you have to reject, sweetheart. It's time, Hero. Your princess awaits. <laughs> uh, I don't think she's gonna listen to me. Just do it already. Okay, I'll try. Um, excuse me, sweetheart. Ma'am. Ah, uh, yes, my lovely Hero. How I yearn for the sound of your sweet voice. Say my name again. Wow, that's so nice of you, I mean. But why do I have to do this? I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm not interested. Why? Whatever you do mean, my prince. I, uh, this is really flattering and all, but you know, we only just met like a few moments ago and... Well, I have to reject your, uh, offer? Oh, pish posh, don't be silly, hero. I've never heard anything sillier. It, it's true. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but... I don't want to marry you. Uh-oh. Dungeon time, baby. And not the fun kind. <laughs> this... This is preposterous. No, this... This is blasphemy. Oh, we're gonna fight her? You dare reject Sweetheart? Everyone loves Sweetheart, you hear me? Everyone! Send him off to the dungeon! Hey, stop right there! You can't take care of he belongs to us! What's this now? What is a non-sweetheart fan doing in the audience? Huh? I see. You must be Hero's fans. The nerve of you lot. First you make a fool out of me and then you interrupt me during my own show. I'm 
exactly what makes the rules around here. Guards, take them away. Oh. Now you've done it, Aubrey. Guys, Megan has a dungeon confirmed. No, I'm kidding. I would never. You guys think I can afford to rent out a bedroom and a dungeon? Oh, this sounds like Mario. Oh, man. Now we're all stuck in the dungeon. Sorry, guys. It's all my fault that we're all in this mess. No, it's not, Hero. No one could have predicted that that would happen. <laughs> I bet a dungeon would be cheaper than a one bedroom. I mean, most dungeons. I mean, <laughs> I was most garages. Just never mind. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I've dug myself into a hole. You know who else is going to be stuck? The non-subs. Because, guys, we are an hour into stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free of the Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Also, if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. God, I hate this. <laughs> I have never been in a dungeon. Never, ever. Now drink your lunch, thank you. I will. I took the label off, that way there's no free promo. <laughs> I have never been to a dungeon. I can't even make one joke. Not even one joke. <laughs> you know a dungeon tour would be DOS. So no, I'm not gonna do a dungeon tour. Because, one, it'd be DOS and I don't have one. Okay, mustache mole. <laughs> oh. Oh. You fools! Don't you recognize me? <gasps> it's me, Rosa! The number one sweetheart fan in the world! I told you that you'd all pay for crossing me. Yeah, we took the mixtapes. <clears throat> Curses! We've been bamboozled! I should have known you were behind us, Rosa! It's true what they say. Revenge is sweet. Now rot, you peons. Rot in the dungeon forever. <laughs> this dungeon looks kind of cute, though. Dang it. How are we ever going to get out of here? We'll find a way. Come on, guys. Let's think about this. Where do we even start? It's not like they just leave the gate unlocked. Would they? Imagine. Oh, there's a guy there. <laughs> oh, this looks like a job for Aubrey. Wait, 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 is he gonna see us? Shit. Okay, combat time. Oh, his name's Harold. have to try.
Oh yeah, didn't in the real world Aubrey had a bat too? Can we go in here? <laughs> you got ramen. Should we do the ramen mukbang in a toilet? <laughs> Chaos. Ooh, secret? Oh my god, there's so much down here. Oh. We probably have to, like, trigger something. Hey! It's Mari! Mari! Mari, help us! We're stuck in the dungeon! Oh no! There you go! I'll come here and enjoy a nice picnic with me! I promise you'll feel better right away! Oh, easy. I saw a woman on Twitter making a big cool ramen to eat it in the bed of a pickup truck. Why? When you say big pool, I picture like a plastic swimming pool. <laughs> Wait, for the ramen mukbang? Should we do... <laughs> can make it a hot tub ramen stream. <laughs> I'm kidding, I wouldn't do that. I think I'm gonna go back because I'm getting I'm getting lost. Oh, like she made it in the actual truck bed. I hate people. I mean, they do it just for the the bit. So, shoutouts, but still, it's like, oh my god. Oh, is that a pool of blood? Nice. Hi, Chris. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Oh, I can't go over here. Oh, that one's locked? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, the axe is duct taped to him. <laughs> How nice. I can't click on it. Sag. Miss Flamingo. Up ahead, a special help for you, my dear. Sign. S. W. H. Hmm. Oh, the lights keep getting dimmer. I hate the... Still going. Damn it, I wanted to debate him. Yeah, this would be the only appropriate time to say I'm in your walls, because it would actually be matching.
Will I play IB when it comes to Switch? What is that game again? I have to write it down. <laughs> Cause I think you asked that before, but I forgot. Oh no, what are we gonna do? No one ever escapes the dungeon. Oh, okay, so I think what I need to do is find all the heart switches and activate them. Let's go back. No, Aya. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, there weren't any more. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, damn it. I almost had it. Okay, heals friends and 40% of their heart. Yeah, I'll do that one. Yeah, so just remind me whenever we beat a Mori. And I might do it. Because I don't have any other story games lined up after this playthrough. I do have a Zelda game. I think. It's the one where it's like a little cartoon leap. I can look at it later because it's in my dresser drawer. Easy. Ooh, power hit learned by Aubrey. Oh, come on, I didn't even dodge. Oh, I can get that game done in three hours? Oh, then it can be like a one-off stream then. I'd rather much get game suggestions for one-off streams. Because we do one-off games once a week. That's our third weekly time slot. This week it's gonna be Mario Day. For like a one off stream, the longest I'm willing to do for a game is like five hours. So basically, if a game says it'll take two hours, it's gonna take me like four. Who's Mario? How are you Megalo and Mario? First Clint and now Mario? I can understand not knowing Clint but not knowing Mario? Oh, the gate won't budge? Okay, okay. So I think now I have to start going through like the underwater- or under-, or under Underground. These things. Huzzah! After countless failures, I finally almost made my escape. All I need to do now is find the exit. Oh, you're blocking. Come on, dude. He's, bl He's blocking the switch. Oh yeah, Kel can throw shit.
Yeah, I can't click on those eyes. Oh, I still need Kel over here. I like this section because it's making me use multiple people. I don't think any other section has done that too much. I don't want to go back up a level because I assume I have to press all the buttons in this lower section first. Okay, never mind. I guess I have to go back up now. Because there's no other open buttons down here. Don't they? Oh, cool! Abig! Ooh, 12 clams? I'm rich. <gasps> Look there! We're finally at the exit! <laughs> Woohoo! Freedom at last! Let's get out of here. I never want to see another spell wall again in my life. I kinda wanna go back though. I don't I don't think I'm supposed to be here yet. the button silly me let me get some more ramen you don't see nothing that key come on oh damn I'm glad to hear that Mac honestly streaming helps my mantle too it breaks my brain but it also helps a little bit it was like, it's nice knowing that people want to hang out any stream that I do. So I was freaking out because I had to get the QTE.
setting up like the art website has been pretty fun. Oh, what is that? Like the only thing that's kind of confusing is figuring out like if I need to register as a business yet. Because like there's different like regulations at the state and county level. But basically for my state, just in general, you don't need to register until you either make a hundred thousand in a calendar year or you make more than 200 sales. So theoretically, and it takes like a month to get everything set up, so it's not like it would take long either. Cause like I was I was like researching last night and I was confused. I was getting confused. I was like I don't know what to do. But I think as long, cause like I don't I'm I'm obviously not gonna hit 200 sales immediately. That'd be insane. Um. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm reading what you said, Mac. That's really sweet. You know, sometimes... People need, like, an extra little nudge, but don't ever be... ...bad that you don't seek help soon enough. Like, taking that first step takes time. And be proud that you're taking those steps. Because I think in order for any type of like medical help or therapy to be effective, you have to be ready to do it. Because if you go into it not being receptive to what you're learning or their care that you're receiving, then it's not gonna like fully sink in. Like back when I enrolled oh, six months ago, it was at the recommendation of my doctor, right? And I was like ready. I was, I was at the point where like I need to do this. But, at this point in my life, I just don't want to, like, face everything again. So I might wait a little while, and that's okay. I think it's also kind of difficult to seek treatment as a teenager, because even though there are laws that will protect your privacy, like, you s it's still, like, kind of scary thinking about, like, your parents and guardians, like, finding out. So, I think as long as you're taking the steps now, or whenever you're ready, then that's totally valid. Oh, wait, Kel! I can switch to Kel. Easy. The doggy bowl here. Oh, I immediately thought, is this back home? When we're moving. A vanity. But the mirror makes you look especially unflattering. Dude, that's every mirror. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I like how I look. A bunch of books. But all the pages are glued shut. Oh wait, the flamingo said this room is like bad. A telescope. But the lens is covered with tape. Cardboard boxes. For no other reason than to take up space. Nourishment. <laughs> okay. Cardboard boxes. Oh, same thing. Yeah, I want to figure out how to get into this room. Smuggler Jash. I got sent to the dungeon for smuggling, but old habits die hard. That said, I got some choices. For that said, I got some choice goods for sale, patron. 
interested in buying? Chicken wing. Wing of chicken. <laughs> I don't really need these right now. Can I get out? Yes. Well, that's not the path I wanted to go in anyway. There's one last one here. Okay, we were here already. I know that. That's an invisible wall. That's so stupid. I hate when games do that shit. Secret? I think it's so funny how these open up from the inside. That's literally so dumb. Uh oh. <gasps> what was that? Little secrets hidden in plain sight is fun. No, it's not. It's... There's, like, usually subtle clues in game design that indicate it, but there's no indicator. It's the same black background as the non-explorable space. It's dumb. <laughs> yeah, of course the skeleton is not alive. Gotta use the brain. Well, my brain is too big. not give me extra power guys it does not I wish it did Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, well, I can't click on the painting. Shit. Oh 
my god! Stop! Okay, not gonna lie, it's kind of unfair that we get to do four attacks every round and then the enemies only do one, but it still hurts. Ooh, Amori learned a trick. Ooh, life jam, that's a three hundred dollar value. Oh, I <laughs> oopsie. Even though it's like nearly impossible to debate the enemies, I still try. I just want to feel cool. Okay. Oh shit. Oopsie. I'm just- I'm grinding XP. I'm not wasting time. Yeah, I can't click on the picture. Well, that room was kind of like, not pointless, but... Oh, the key is there now! I wonder what triggered it. Probably unlocking all the rooms? any more pads or buttons why do you say pads <laughs> weird yeah i think i did them already yeah oh god damn it i'm xp grinding Hey everybody, we're 30 minutes into stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you're new here, follow the channel, you get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Any new follows? Okay, I think... I wonder where that last button is.
Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where this ladder comes from. So it should be from here to the left. Yeah, there's no ladder here. you're stuck in a little pickle, so... I snuck in some pickles! <laughs> ah, yuck! I hate pickles! Next time, can you sneak in some jam instead? Huh. Okay, well that's not it. I always wanted to play Paper Mario, but I never did. Maybe we'll come play that- or we'll play that game on stream at some point. Okay, I don't know where that last secret is, I don't care. I just want to get out of here. <gasps> New World Sweetheart's Castle. Honestly, it's so cute! <laughs> Our newest attraction, the dungeon! Harold, all the prisoners? Did you really think you could escape that easily? It's back to the dungeon for you four. Darn, we were so close too. Uh oh, what do we do now? Think, hero, think. Come on, how do we get out of this? Oh, I got it. <laughs> On the contrary, Sir Knight, I think you have mistaken us for someone else. Yes. <laughs> er. <clears throat> Don't be so quick to judge. We are Sprummels and Doobly. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, Kuwait. I am also a lover of tofu and sweetheart. Mmm, delicious sweetheart. I mean, tofu. Hey, God. My eyes must have deceived me. I apologize, brethren. It is rather hard to see through this helmet. Farewell. Carry on, then. I will resume my patrol. You lot ought to return to your stations as well, lest our dear sweetheart noses. Easy. <laughs> How's that for some quick thinking? That's so smooth, hero. With a sprout little mass, we'll be able to make it out of here in a cinch. Do we really have to keep wearing these, hero? Mine's getting kind of itchy. Yes, Cal. We should have kept them on, or we should keep them on until we get out of here. Come on, let's move. Yeah, we're so cute. Look at us. <laughs> Damn, so many pictures of her. Maybe she's a narcissist. I don't know. Okay, that has to be the exit. I'm not going that way just yet. Oops. Okay, this place is huge. Ah, oh, jeez. Look at the size of this crowd. We'll never get through at this rate. Let's look around for another exit. Huh. Maybe the crowd will die down eventually. We should check back here later. Candle bunny. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's explore. Head chef mole. Ugh. My dear souls, or sous chefs, I'm afraid my back just can't take anymore. It is at this unfortunate time that I announce my retirement. But wait, Chef, without you, who will lead us in our task of making a most magnificent cake for the main event? Sue, Chefs, it is now time for one of you to step up to the limelight. A cake must be baked today. Our very lives are on the line. Oh, yes, I hear you, Chef. 
As the most capable one of us, I will volunteer and take charge of this task. I won't fail you, I promise. Unless... Hey, you there. You four are sous chefs now. Meet me in the kitchen, pronto. Dude, I just want to get out of here. Ooh, chaos. Sprout Mole gazes wistfully at Sweetheart's portrait. Dude, simp. <laughs> oh my god, is that Mari? There sure are a lot of Sprout Moles here. And they sure all love Sweetheart. I tried offering one some food earlier, but she called me a peon and threw it back at me. Sprout Moles are peculiar creatures, aren't they? <laughs> Let's save really quick. Moment. Okay. <laughs> okay, I was speaking French, I think. I can't understand a single word you're saying, but you're so dreamy. <laughs> Bed for sprout moles. Smells like dirty laundry. Okay, guys, make sure you're washing your sheets at least every other week, please. Butler mole. It's so hard to sleep with these two in the other room. If only we had ceilings here. <laughs> Butler mole. Don't kid yourself, Cretan. I'm gonna be the one to marry Sweetheart. You sprout delusion, twin brother. It is I who's gonna marry Sweetheart. Oh, please, there will be no contest. When it comes to the two of us, I am by far the more dashing. Don't be foolish, brother. We all look exactly the same. I just know that Sweetheart is gonna fall for my personality. Nonsense, brother. When the time is ripe, she will fall hell over heels for my fashionable new mustache. A fashionable mustache, you say? What mustache? All I see is a pair of nose hairs. Dear brother, you're really getting on to my last stem. But I know how to settle this. Fellow sprout moles, which one of us do you think is a better match for sweetheart? Big random boy. Ha! What did I tell you? I'm going to ask sweetheart to marry you right now. I don't believe this nonsense. Sag. Ooh, we got a bow tie. That bed was sparkling because it's clean. Yeah, another reason why I could be getting acne is because you don't clean your pillowcase often enough. Maid mole. Hmm. Clear your mind. Harmonize with the universe. Return to your natural state. Become tofu again. Huh? I think crystal mommies need to be stopped. Yes, I know you like crystals, Mac. <laughs> Mabel, dear diary, today I... Gee, what did I do today? Your mom. <laughs> Sproutmull. What's up, Linda? Haven't seen you around in forever. How's your old man? I miss that guy. Sprout mole. Dang it! How did I end up in this mess? 
A scary looking sprout one named Marsha suddenly pulled me from my home and said I was going to replace some faulty staff here. Apparently, the last guy was thrown into the dungeon for treason. The turnover right here must be horrible. A strawberry cake that smells like garbage. Do you want to take a bite? Why not? Are we tripping? Oh my god. We're actually tripping. <laughs> you got jam packets. Holy moly. A strawberry cake. You want to take a bite? Actually, no. I want to see if I can click on anything else. Okay, I can't. You know, I have your mom's on my burner phones. That way nobody will ever find him. Butler mole. Sweetheart is so cool. I wish I could work here forever. Butler mole. Sweetheart is so scary. I wish I could go home. Okay, let's clock in, get to work. Sous chef mo. What took you so long? Step on it, will you? I can't leave this room until I bake the best cake ever in existence. Okay, let's see. What do we need for a cake? Simproj. Uh, I've been spotted! Please don't tell anyone I'm here! I just like digging in the pantry. I mean, who doesn't? Oh, he's gone. Sag. An array of ingredients. Some look more appetizing than others. Yes, I would love to nibble on this little boot. Ooh. You got a coconut. Ooh, cow- What? <laughs> what is this? Dude, I can't. Cow learned, juice me. <laughs> Holy. Oh, should I wash my hands first? Nope, that's not it. What, what am I supposed to do? Oh, are you ready to start baking? Just follow my instructions and you'll be fine. I remember the head chef's recipe by heart. Care would he take notes? Hey, don't be nervous. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. First, we must preheat the oven to 75 degrees. Pick randomly? No, I'm gonna we're gonna try hard. I'm gonna do perfect run. Excellent work! The next thing to do is mix two main ingredients in a bowl. Flowers. And ping pong balls. Oh, wait, did I already mess up? Because I did. Ugh. Is dirt? Oh, yeah, that is dirt. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Flower and ping pong balls, right? I'm just gonna listen to what he says, because I think the gimmick is that everything tastes bad. Wait, no! Those look like ping pong balls. Oh, shit. Titans. 
I don't think there's any ping pong balls. I, he has to mean eggs. Trying to unbroke myself? Me too. I had too much fun last night. With your mom. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. Next comes the salt and cheese. He beat those together until it's soup. Okay, I think he means sugar and butter. He's just calling it the wrong thing. Yeah, I become unbroke on the 15th of every month. Because people switch payouts process monthly during like the second week of every month. And now we're cooking! Last but not least, grab the sauce and cut it into pieces. Okay, it's gotta be strawberries. Magnificent! Now mix them all together and stick it in the microwave. It's that easy. He doesn't even have a microwave. batter into the oven. Oh, it's the wrong temperature, though. You baked a cake. It's- it's got, like, the pixel blur on it. You baked a cake. What the heck did you put in here? Ah. All done. Beautiful work, I must say. Let's have a taste. Ah! Uh-oh. That guy was such a drag. Now, are you ready to actually bake this cake? Okay, so this guy's gonna tell me the right thing to do now. Cool. So the first thing to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Awesome. Now mix some flour and eggs together. Okay, so I had it right. I just fucked up the oven. God damn it. Let's go again. I mean, obviously it set you up to fail, so it's not my fault technically. I was just listening to what the big boss man said. You know those cooking shows where they have like all the ingredients on these long ass tables like Master Chef? I just think it'd be funny if they did shit like that, put like ping pong balls <laughs> and shoes on the table. And they're like, you have to use these ingredients. Your mystery challenge today? You have to incorporate moldy shoes into your dish.
Please be good. You baked a cake. Oh my god, it's perfect. Wow, it looks pretty good. And that's how you bake a cake. Mm, yep, that'll do it. Finally, a cake our late head chef would be proud of. May his memory live on forever. You may go now, servants be free. This pan is now sparkling, though. Oh, I got a frying pan. I can be like Rapunzel. Okay. I'm gonna go back here, see if... This is unlocked. It is not. Damn it. Let's get out of you. Stop, imposters. I know what you are, and you are not sprummels. <laughs> you must be wondering how I am able to tell. You see, I'm above these feeble and inexperienced heralds and marshes. I am Sir Maximus, and with my impressive lineage, I will be victorious and bring honor to my family. Holy. How do you feel about how short her hair got cut? What? Whose hair? the longest my hair has been in a while because like even when I wear a ponytail I can still feel my hair on my neck and I don't like it so I might get like two inches cut off when I can afford it oh you mean Rapunzel dude I liked both Flynn and Rapunzel so much oh my god no I cannot fail now my son needs me! No, we're gonna kill you. He's gonna be an orphan. Wanted to be Flynn. <laughs> no, but I think Flynn, like personality wise and aesthetic wise, is like perfect. Oh shit, I didn't mean to call him Mori. Is he your type? I don't- I don't- Like, there are obviously things I'm attracted to, like, physically and aesthetically, but I very much think I could like anybody. Like, I'm a sucker for somebody who's, like, nice and shit. I think it's also because Flynn kind of looked like a guy I had a crush on in school. Okay, I don't think the front door is gonna open until I do like all these side sections. Oh, chaos. Well, this is awkward. W what are they doing? <laughs> what is this? What are, what are they doing? What did I walk in on? 
Oh, damn it. No! Uh, can I run? Oh, I did run. Is that someone in a horse costume? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It was not two sprout moles hugging. Heralds guarded the entrance to the show, but I heard they all got held up at the bottom in the library. Whatever's going on must be quite the event if it isn't if it's even more important than the sweetheart's latest showcase. Dude, there's so much area here. Oh, can us. Cat Pyramid. Ooh, what a fantastic show! This visit was well worth the trip from Orange Oasis. Soy sauce. Galleries are all about showing off cool stuff. They should be showing me off. I'm cool stuff too. Bro. Well, I'm beyond moved by his work. The, um, the unabashed display of this artist's immersed ego is truly breathtaking. Main mole. Well, welcome to the Royal Gallery. This month's feature is. I thought it said ovaries. <laughs> Or boars? They <laughs> up, sweetheart. <laughs> Basket case. On the way here, I accidentally stepped on a sprout mole's foot, so she calls me a so she called me a miserable peon and slapped me silly. I must have hurt her foot really bad. Chaos. I can't click on the crown. Gluten. These paintings, they've awakened something in me. I hope it's not permanent. What does that mean? Tiffany, darling. <laughs> this showing is simply magnifique. Doan. Doan thought Doan understood art, but after coming here, Doan is starting to second guess himself. Maestro. Behold! Isn't this the finest piece of art you've ever laid your eyes upon? It's a toilet. Ooh, ramen! Plus one. Whoa. Damn! From top to bottom. The creation of Sweetheart. Or a Sweetheart Antica? The birth of Sweetheart? Damn, holy moly. Amelia. Wow, this is quite the showroom. Still, it is strange. I don't remember this castle being here before. Maybe I'm just imagining things. You know what you're not imagining? An ad break. Because everybody, we are another hour into stream. So it's time for me to tell you, or it's time for me to run some ads. But you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we will keep on playing. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Easy. And if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to tap and chat. Yeah, bye bye. I have to answer a text, so make phone streamer for a second. So I'm reading back feedback I got for homework. Because usually the professors will just put like a two-sentence feedback, but this this guy put two paragraphs. <laughs> Holy moly. Jesus Christ. Damn, he was like, basically, because it was, uh, 
feedback on a class discussion post and they were like, you actually had some really good insight. I always get scared reading the feedback, I ignore it. Uh, no, I read it, I read it. Cause you know, with art degrees, most any art career is based on collaboration and teamwork. Cause not one designer makes a whole website, for example. You need coders, you need designers. <laughs> You need people who know how to do illustrating, you know, people who are good with concept work. So you, you need to, like, get used to talking to people. Megaphone streamer. one class discussion where dead ass I think somebody copied my response because it had the same analysis the vernacular in which the person was typing was very similar to my cadence and my writing style but they just rearranged some of the phrases so I dead ass think somebody fucking copied my response in a group discussion it was weird because like I was reading it and I was like, that the way this is written is like literally how I would write this. And then I replied to his post. I was like, yeah, I totally agree. That's very weird that we had a very similar opinion on everything. <laughs> it was just weird. Because like, depending on what the discussion topic is, I will, I will always try to sound like really... Okay, my... My tone whenever I do, like, essays and shit is really pretentious. I know. I know it's pretentious. But I just don't want to sound like a fucking dummy, okay? Because, like, the discussion that I think... Or the, the discussion I got back was talking about how... Because we had to talk about a pop culture moment that happened pre-20... Or pre-2001. Interesting, right? <laughs> And then we had to like write an analysis on it and then go from there. Oh god damn it, I don't wanna fight this guy. Dude, this castle is huge! So like, I was making connections, well, I'm trying to think of one example. Oh, I was, because like, one person was talking about Princess Diana, and then I said, you know, Princess Diana passed prior to my birth, but I still heard about her a lot, and I feel like a lot of the current, oh my god, this place is huge! Oh my god, look at this line, holy. Can we cut the line? <laughs> we can! <laughs> Guestless mold. Oh my! There's simply no time to admit an entry to all these unruly guests! It just goes to show that we mustn't ever underestimate the popularity of our dear sweetheart. You there! Servants with the ugly faces! The upcoming main event has a strict Trust code. It is of our utmost importance that our attendance is dressed to sweetheart's exact specifications. Here is a simple chart to even that even a non spermol could understand. Okay, everybody, it's Wednesday. We wear pink. Kindly ask the lesser guests to follow you and bring them to me. You can do something that simple, can't you? Pink mole. How dare you make me wait? I am an esteemed guest. What are you doing? That's Bromwell's an esteemed guest. What? Oh, am I? What? 
Oh yeah, everybody likes Hero. Everybody's trying to fuck Hero. Greetings, esteemed guests. Follow me, as your presence is urgently required. Me? They have, they have got to make an exception. I must show them a piece of my mind. Okay, so all the non-pink sprouts I have to escort out, I think. Okay, anyway, so like, the discussion was talking about Princess Diana, and then I was talking about how a lot of people, because the person in their initial post was talking about how there's like a lot of conspiracy related to her death, and then then I brought up the point of how I feel like, a, like the current trends of true crime videos have kind of desensitized people to the actual harsh reality of people's traumas, and it's just meant to like monetize on trauma. And that people should be respectful when like digesting information concerning like death or conspiracy because if you kind of fall too deep into any conspiratorial ideology it's just gonna lead to more distrust and authority and government figures so that that was my analysis <laughs> about princess diana <laughs> Because, you know, I took AP Lit in high school. So, you know, I kind of just inherently see connections between everything. This is big boys to Alpha 3. The jig is up. Abort the mission. <laughs> okay, what the fuck? Oh, I can't get on the other side. Okay, so I'm, I can't click on the pink moles. I do college level as English. I do college level English every year and I still can't form an essay. You put the word A in there and you fuck me up, man. You did that on purpose. I don't think I've ever had to write like a fully researched essay. Because a lot of my assignments, since I'm in art, it's basically an art degree is what I'm getting. I haven't had to write a single essay. The longest paper I had to write was like a four paragraph thing, but that was in like a discussion post. So I got really lucky. Because basically a lot of our assignments are just building portfolios, so just like actually making shit. Oh, there are two guests. Okay, there's- I see one guy over here. I got one guide. Oh yeah, I had to do college level essays in high school because I took AP classes. But in college, I didn't have to do any. <laughs> Where's the last guy? Oh, right here. Imagine playing this colorblind. Splendid. I knew you had it in you. Now we can finally give it to these unpinkish guests. Guards, escort these sprammels to the dungeon. Jeez. And that takes care of that. These unpinkish guests will never see the light of day again. Man. Yeah, I wasn't able to use any of my AP credits in school. 
Because I went to a non-traditional college, so none of them transferred over, unfortunately. But you know what? What actually was kind of cool is I know that all the richy rich kids had to pay for their AP exam, but since I was a bro key and was eligible for like free and reduced lunch, any kid who was low income, the school paid for their AP exams. So senior year when I took four and junior year when I took two AP classes, it was all paid for by the school because <laughs> I was broke. You know, it pays off to be poor sometimes, right? Aware. Ah oh, yes, sweetheart, special tea and crumpets. Would you like to have some? Ooh, we're tripping again. You and your friends feel like new. Oh my god, a human? Popcorn girl. Hey yo, you want some popcorn? It's 80 clams. Why not? Do you wanna watch a movie with your friends? No. Nah. I don't want to do the little, do the little cutscene things. It seems like a waste of time. And I'm speedrunning. Or maybe I do. <laughs> I just want to see what it is. Popcorn time. Is it just this on loop? I'm in the library? Dude, it's... It's swimsuit attire, that's not TOS. Okay, it's looping. <laughs> oh wait, is that Sweetheart in the crowd? Right here, right here. Oh. An uncomfortably realistic sweetheart doll. Damn it! I thought I could see her in the flesh. I'm blushing. <laughs> Guys, calm down. Get out of you. Oh, they're still here. Come on. What's Pluto? Okay, dude. Another theater, maybe? A wedding? Oh yeah, cause she's trying to marry Hiro. Will. No, no, no! This won't do at all! You and Center Left, you call that singing? My cousin's plastic flamingo sings better than you! And I don't think I can't see you in the back row dozing off during the chorus? Pull yourselves together or else, sweetheart, we'll have us thrown into the dungeon! Huh. 
These Sprumbles seem to have run into some trouble. I wonder if there's any way we can help. Hey guys, y'all need a hand? We're professional helpers here at your service. Oh, thank goodness, the professionals have arrived. We absolutely must have the choir ready before Sweetheart's main event, but there simply isn't enough time. You see, we Sprumbles become very sleepy when listening to music, so as you can imagine, the choir keeps putting itself to sleep. I'm afraid we might have to resort to alternative methods to keep them awake. They're gonna get zooted. I see. Not to fear, dear fellow Sprumble. I know exactly what you're talking about. You... you do? Thank goodness we're saved. I should have expected as but I should have expected as such from professionals. I'll handle this good sir. You can trust me. That's the sound a drum makes. Mr. Virtuso Molzer, I'm all ready to go. Thank you, Jer Thank you, gracious professional. We are in your debt. Tomatoes? Oh, tomato time. Tomato time. <laughs> yes, 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 splendid work. With your help, the main event will surely be most glorious. But I wonder if we can do better. Do you want to try again? Yeah, let's try again. Now I know what to do. Oh my god, they're all falling asleep so quickly. Come on, Gal, hurry up. Oh my god, this is so bad. Ah, I'm sensing improvement already. Ah, it looks like it's almost time for the event. This means we only have enough time for one more session. Do you want to give it one last shot? <laughs> Dude, that's what I'm supposed to do. For your time. We'll try to make do with what we have. Okay, well. I failed that one, I guess, then. I don't know. Oh, they're dancing now. Cute. Because there was no real indication when they were going to fall asleep or not. Like, their faces changed slightly, but it's very hard to see. I tried. Oh, this guy doesn't have a partner. Dancing mole. Hmm. I want to dance too, but no one will be my partner. Will one of you dance with me? Okay, I won't disappoint you.
Damn, look at his go. Who knew Kel could dance? That was so much fun! Ah! What is this feeling? My heart is racing so fast! Thanks! Oh my god, he's in love! You and your friends feel like new. We got healed by the power of love. A strawberry cake that smells like the ocean. Do you want to take a bite? Yes, sir. You got jam packets. Okay, I think I've explored all the sections now, so hopefully the exit should be clear. Please, I want to get out of you. Oh. He knows we're fake. Sir Maximus the Second. Stop, imposters! I know what you are, and you are not Sprumbles. Hmm. You must be wondering how I am how I am able to tell. You see, I'm the, I am the son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father, but I am stronger than he. With my impressive lineage and my father by my side, I will be victorious. Oh, sorry. Father's death be in vain. Father. Jesus. Father, forgive me. I'm sorry. I have failed you. Easy. We have now killed two of their lineage. Oh, 
come on, stop. It's clear! No, it's not. Come on! Would you like to throw one clam into the fountain? Yeah! Oh, nothing happened. Cool. I think the only thing that didn't happen was in the top section. I don't think- I don't think we did a task up here. Because th this was like the- the room that had the horse costume. Oh shit. Oh, they're gone. That's weird. Huh. You can change the statue position. I don't think there's anything else over here. Hmm. Oh, the Royal Chambers. The Royal Gallery. The Royal Library. Oh, I didn't go to the library. Or may maybe the library was the check-in section? That's a secret. There's like no indicator that that's a secret. Keeper of the castle. You are brave to speak to me, young ones. Tell me, are you enjoying Sweetheart's castle? That girl. She was an elaborate one. This dwelling, it takes the shape of one's deepest desires. A place to return to. Somewhere to call home. Sweetheart came to me a long time ago. A poor girl from the desert and begged me on her knees to make this place hers. I gave her what she desired, a castle full of riches, servants for her to command, a stage for her to flaunt her power. Yet, she still wants more. It must be a curse. Soon she will leave and not return. I know this. And when I have deemed that she has found her home elsewhere, I will look for a new owner. At this time, return to me. You, with the empty eyes. Your soul is split, but you can only choose one path. It will be interesting to see which will... It will be interesting to see what you will make of this dwelling. Can you talk about me? Oh, I can't. Oh, is he gonna say the same shit? Soon? She'll leave and not return. I know this. Oh, when- Okay, when the princess leaves, return here. Okay, got it. What is this, though?
Now can we leave the castle? I just want to get out of here. You know who I don't want to leave though? People who aren't following. So if you aren't following the channel, click the follow button to get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. So we're another 30 minutes in the stream. That's all. <laughs> Wait, if you're already following, make sure your notifications turn on. Easy. <laughs> Please be done. No, why can't I leave? I have to be missing something. Oh wait, oh, up here, up here, at the top right, where the kitchen was. Oh, come on! The place that had Mari in it. I'm sure she'll know what to do. It's there now. Jay. Okay, that's not helpful. Mari literally was not helpful at all. portal down here. Hmm. No. That's nothing. Okay, there's probably one more room in the bottom left, then, that I missed. Go! Okay, this was the theater, and that was the library. And the art gallery. Is there a task here? Well, welcome to the Royal Gallery! Please enjoy a complimentary tofu! Ooh, another tofu. Easy.
Yeah, I've explored everything here. Oh, the keyboard. That wasn't there before. There's a face on the wall here. A peculiar face is indented into the wall. You're not sure what this means. Okay, cool. <laughs> have become art. There's a hole here. Reach into the hole. You felt someone hold your hand. Okay, let's... I think we should leave. The hole is gone, too. I don't like that. I want to get out of here. exit is open now. It's gotta be. No, come on! check the library one more time. I think I had this cake. This cake smells like beets. <laughs> Welcome to Conga Island. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Wasting my time. I'm not here to have fun. I'm trying to get out of this silly castle. You picked up a pearl. Up spirit. Ooh, I have a question for you. Do you think ghosts would be considered a gas? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna look at the kitchen one more time and then I'll look up a walkthrough. So I, I'm clueless. Noreen. Well, it's been a while since I've seen you four. Up to no good again, I presume. Have you learned your lesson after venturing out of the tunnels? Next time you won't be so lucky. What did I do? Yeah, nothing new. been to all the places that the flamingos are saying are like rooms is he dead may our late head chef's memory live on forever This is a cake our late head chef would be proud of. May his memory live on forever. Okay. It's... Okay, there's gotta be something in this room then. There's gotta. Everything looks the same. That's the problem. Because the only thing different that this room spawned was the key. Or the computer key. Maybe I can try go back into the dungeon. Everything's the same. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Before I go back into the dungeon. Let's see. Omori. Sweetheart Castle. I'm looking up a walkthrough. Yeah, I'm at the part where it's talking about the dungeon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right here. It says, 
Oh, shit. I accidentally scrolled up on the page. Damn it. I don't want to read too far ahead. Okay. The Sweetheart Castle Rooms. You'll get the mass, and then you have to complete four different rooms. Doing so will progress the game. They consist of the Royal Library, Royal Chambers, Royal Kitchen, and Royal Ballroom, which I did. The player can complete them in an order. Each time the party completes a room, excluding the fourth room, depending on the player's choice, an elite guard known... So I didn't complete a room. Because we only had Maximus the first and Maximus the second, but there's a third. Okay. I'm going to look at the royal chambers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, way too much. What? Okay, so I didn't do the royal chambers properly. Okay, so the royal chambers is one of the few areas within the castle. It is... is ex X access by entering the hallway to the left on the top floor via an elevator. What? Huh? Okay, so I did it. The obviously the top left section was done right. Yeah, see, the royal chambers are this way. Okay, it says I have to find an elevator. This is awkward. Oh, wait, there's buttons! Oh my god! See, there's like tiny little like buttons next to the door. Oh my god! Dude, I literally would never have seen that. It's so tiny. Okay, we're going to the chambers now. Then we'll walk through. Dude, that's so stupid! Oh, they're saying it's awkward because we're in the elevator together. Okay, they're not banging. <laughs> wow. A magnificently large pink bed. Would you like to sleep here with your friends? Sleep with my friends? <laughs> Why not? You found a body pillow. <laughs> nice. Poetry by Sweetheart. Ah, a day. A day it was. Such a lovely day. I, I sleep with my friends in bed and stuff. It's not weird. Are you trolling or not? The last time I slept in the same bed... With somebody who wasn't a partner was in 8th grade. Because there was like a slumber party. You're not trolling? Weird. What the fuck? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, there's one time I had to share a bed with my sister like a year and a half ago. Because we had to get a hotel. Because there was like an evacuation order in my town. So we had to get a hotel for a night. So I, I shared a bed with my sister. But, no, sleeping, ew, ew, it's cause I'm a cuddler and I don't want to cuddle my friend. What 
you doing in here? Common sprout moles aren't allowed in sweetheart's chambers. You know the rules. Huh. Wait a minute. Perhaps you'll be able to help me. Sweetheart ordered me to move the statue out of her bedroom before she returns, but I can't get it to move at all. If only this thing were suddenly and conveniently smashed into itty bitty pieces. Yes, ma'am. Well, it sounds like to me is that you're in need of some destructions. And Aubrey here happens to be a destruction specialist. Yeah, I'm definitely more touchy with friends, but I would never share a bed. <laughs> Aubrey? Well, that is a very strange name for a Spramble. Then again, Sweeter has been running out of new names to give as of late. Wait, Kel? Isn't that a statue of Captain Spaceboy? I would feel bad destroying it. <laughs> it's not like he's ever gonna know. Captain Spaceboy and Sweeter are the thing of the past. Live and let live, that's what I always say. You don't always say that, but fine. I guess I can give it a shot. Okay, here I go this time. I won't fail. Damn. My word, you've done it! Well, time to clean this up. <laughs> Just smash it into further pieces, won't you? Phew, you're real lifesavers. I should have known to just leave this task to the specialist. My, my, well, this is a surprise. Turns out all I had to do was lift it from the bottom. A strawberry cake that smells like rosemary. Tasty. If only cleaning, cleaning were like that, IRL. That would be great. But then you wouldn't learn the importance of hard work. Wow. Oh, here we learn tea time. The texture on these clouds is crazy. It's like actually rendered, it's not pixel art. I love when customers ask, working hard or hardly working. <laughs> you know, it's so stupid. It's like, shut up. Ooh. It's like, if I didn't have my job, you can't get your little treats from my fast food joint, so you better treat me nicely. A painting of Captain Spaceboy. Fruit juice hasn't splashed all over it. Okay, now I think we can progress. On the elevator, look. I did I wanna see it again. Look, it's red. Let's get out of here. Yes. Sir Maximus the third. 
Stop, imposters. I know what you are, and you are not sprout moles. Hmm. You must be wondering how I am able to tell. You see, I am the son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus II, and grandson of Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father and grandfather, but that has only fueled my rage and thirst for vengeance. With my impressive lineage and father and grandfather by my side, I will be victorious and avenge my family. Sorry, the skill is called massage, and it says removes a friend or frozen motion. Ew. Ew. Defense Rose, wow. The one thing I don't miss about working is like, okay, the one thing I do miss is like having something to do in that structure, but I hated going back home. So to me, I treated work like a distraction and I just didn't want to go home. But now I'm in a good place, so I like staying home. <laughs> not have a revive skill, Sedge. I'll grab the butter. You know what I'll grab? An ad, because Shatters, we are an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. But you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad for viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub. Oh, I did my nails last night. It's like a fuchsia y purple. Anyway. If you don't want to get an ad, subscribe. Easy. Okay. No! I cannot let my father's and his father's deaths be in vain! Okay, maybe I should revive Shell. Oh, 
Jam Packets revives multiple people, but a Live Jam only revives one. Interesting. I'm gonna heal everybody. Kelly's back! No longer toast. Then be sad. Just to see what'll happen. fight has taken a while. Maybe I should be fighting enemies so my attack increases. Ghosts are back. Oh my god, thank god I had the heal. It's almost like I knew. Oh shit, I missed the QT. Damn it. Nobody die, nobody die, please. Okay, everybody got a wait. Oh, Kale did get a heal. Okay, it was just laggy. Okay, the final stretch. Father. Grandfather. I'm sorry. I failed you. Heh. <laughs> Get boomed. Aubrey Hero leveled up and learned homemade jam. Oh wait, I can probably change out my skill set. Hey. Is it just me or does it seem quieter all of a sudden? Wait, wasn't there a crowd of at the entrance earlier? I don't see them around anymore. 
They must have finally pushed their way outside. Let's follow them, Amori. Maybe they can lead us out of here. Oh, I can't switch. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. I should probably change my skills then. Because I was like, I kept on earning them, but I never saw them. I'm going for full, like, combat skills. I don't care about upgrades. Okay, it hurls a lot of juice to a friend, but it also hurts the friend. I don't really like any of those. Back a friend that is toast, he does have revive. Okay, now I think I have the skill sets that I want. It only took me 10 hours to figure out that I could change the skills. Guys, I'm a pro streamer. And a gamer. I see a button on the side. That might go back to the dungeon. We're finally out of the Sweetheart's Castle! I wonder what's up with that big event everyone is preparing for. Strange. I don't see the sprout moves from the entrance anymore. Where could they have all gone? There must be a hidden exit somewhere. Let's poke around at anything that looks suspicious. Sweetheart Topiary just fired a laser at us. Oh. There's just gotta be a way to get rid of these guys. Alright, sweetheart. You asked for this. Dang. I missed. <laughs> oh, silly cow. You're not gonna knock at anything throwing like that. Why don't you try aiming for once? Huh? Aim? I can do that? Of course. Even you can- even you can aim, Kel. Alright. I'll give them my best shot. Okay, now I know. That's cool. Let's say. Oh my god!
Can I not just, like, zoom? Oh, I can't go past it. That's stupid. <laughs> That's bullshit. But I can't get over there, then. I love puzzles. Okay, let's keep exploring. I got one. And that's two. The Calamitous. Calamitous? Uh, hi? I'm like super busy standing here being one of the Calamitous elite and all. Can I like help you with something? No, I'm good. Plus one. And a two. Having Wendy's for dinner? Um, sad. <laughs> I would like a bacon eater, please. But their breakfast menu goes crazy. Alex, the esteemed. As a member of the esteemed elite, I have a special code word to hide. But you probably wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> okay, dude. Breakfast at most any place will be good because it's kind of hard to fuck up eggs, you know? Oh, wait, the only fast food breakfast that I don't really like is McDonald's. It's kind of mid. Ooh, a suspicious looking mushroom. Would you like to take a bite? J shroom. You. Bulbous one. Your eyes. They tell me that you learn yearn to learn. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I will teach you. Come. You have come. Excellent. Now observe. The hard bulbs like the one behind me hold creatures like me. However, we are unable to escape by our own means. 
With a very specific and intricate cutting technique, one would be able to release us from our bloody fate. However, this technique takes years, perhaps even decades, to master. If you agree to learn it, there's no telling how long this will take. Yet with time, I believe you will do great things. Are you ready to take on the challenge and become a disciple? Yes, sir. Omori trained for a long time. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. You have grown so much, unlike this bulb behind me. Now, cut it using your perfected technique so that it may live. At last, I am free. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Take this, it's a gift from me. You got a dandelion. Excellent, excellent, excellent! <gasps> oh, that was cute! Oh my god, <laughs> that one got me. Carol, the illustrious. Protecting the sacred password is an arduous task. Perhaps one day you find young moles will carry the same burden of this illustrious elite. No, I think I'm good. I don't like working for Big Corpa anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. Gopher treats people bad? Yeah. It, it, I think it's because once you get to a certain point, you have to treat people as numbers. It just be like that. That's why, like, I don't know if I ever want to do, like, an office-type job. I feel like it would break my brain. I am the distinguished. Careful where you tread. You are in the presence of one of the sweetheart's distinguished elites. I will guard the wisdom of the castle for with my life. What if I murk you right now, dude? Well, that was the guy in the elevator. Do you want to have tea with your friends? Yes, sir. Oh, why? Look at Amori. He's like curled up on the bench. Dude, something happened. An impressive statue of Sweetheart casts a discomforting shadow over the garden.
What's the password? Oh. <laughs> Imagine I got it right. Oh my god. What, can I talk to you? Oh, it's someone in a horse costume. I don't know if I want to fight them. Okay, so the password has to be- I have to talk to the guards again. Because they, they probably had code words. Ah, uh, shit. Oh! There's a ladder here. <gasps> no way! What? We must probably have to come back here. Yeah, I know those were the people in the elevator. Hmm. Oh, okay, now he's gonna like. <laughs> there are four passwords that must be spoken to the sweetheart statue to unveil the secret tunnel. Naturally, as one of the chosen elite, I have been given the responsibility of guarding the first four. It's a beautiful day out in the garden, isn't it, brothers and sisters? Ah! You were saying you would like to know the password? I apologize. I'm afraid that is not in my jurisdiction. Oh. I suppose something tasty off white and cubish might change my mind. <laughs> would you like some tofu? How could you be so easily swayed? Oh, hmm. Delicious, irres irresistible tofu. I suppose I could let it slip just this once. Now, lean in closer. The password that I've been entrusted with is sweet. You got that? Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, sweet. Chatters, remember that? We must bribe all the guardsmen. to know the password? Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Hmm, you really need it? Like you really, really need it? Like really, really, really need it? Like you really, 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 really need it? Hmm... I guess I have no choice then. But you have to promise not to tell anyone else. Pinky swear. Yes, sir? I'm no snitch. And done. Phew. I was worried you might have been someone untrustworthy. Now, leaning closer, the password that I've been entrusted with is filled. You got it? You promise you won't tell anyone, okay? Got it. Okay, the third word is filled. So it's filled sweet. Filled sweet. I would love to have my tummy filled with sweets. Oh, we're talking about sweets, I can have chocolate. Whoever gifted during February gave you chocolate. I owe like 30. Let's see. Let's do milk chocolate.
I'm chilling. Okay. You want to know the password, eh? Not so fast there, buddy. I gotta say, you're awfully tall for a sprout mole. How do I know if you really are one of the highly intelligent and majestic creatures? Do you think I'd ever spell the password to a potential spy? <laughs> don't make me laugh. If you're so sure you're a sprout mole, why don't you just prove it? I'll tell you the password if you can guess what I am thinking about right now. Tofu. Oh. Hmm. Delicious tofu. I apologize for ever doubting you. I guess there are all kinds of sprumbles out there. Now, leaning closer. The password I've been entrusted with is jelly. Jelly filled sweet. Jelly filled sweet. Jelly filled sweet. Jelly filled sweet. It's wait, sweet is the first word because the guy is the fourth one. So sweet filled jelly. Sweet filled jelly. Wait, no, sweet fuck. <laughs> yeah, it, it's sweet filled sweet filled jelly. Sweet filled jelly. Sweet filled jelly. But uh, I'm supposed to hold on to the super secret password and everything, right? But like it's about food, so now I'm just thinking about food all the time. It makes me so hungry that I started chewing on the grass to curb my appetite. Can you believe it? I should really start providing food to the guards around here. Huh. And like, what kind of password is donut anyway? As in like that stupid pet name that some weird blue guy always called Sweetheart or something? Please, that's no secret at all. Anybody can guess that. They're always walking around here and acting all coupley, calling each other names like that back and forth. Saying things like, why would you ask me to marry you yet? And I'm sorry, my friends don't approve of our relationship all the time. Ugh. So annoying. But whatever. I'm still stuck here guarding the passwords of these three other guards. Those guys couldn't keep a secret to save their lives. Hmm. That's right, pity me if you want. See if I care. Here I am, trapped here in this lonely little corner of the garden, guarding the word donut of all things. Yeah, sweet jelly filled donut. That's what it is. Dude, donuts sound so- everything sounds so good. Sweet jelly filled donut. Sweet jelly filled donut. Hmm. Fine. <gasps> oh my god, all the presents. Dear sweetheart, I love you so much. Let us have kids and spend the rest of our lives together. I would like that very much. Thank you. I did not say that, Chatters. That was not me. Do not clip it. Are we gonna crash a wedding? Cause I hear them singing. Smuggler Jazz. Got some choice goods for sale, patron. You want another letter? The lovely sweetheart, you are my love. Please visit my home. It is ready for you. I 
have loved you since the first moment I laid my eyes on you. Please be mine forever, okay? Ew. Ew. Why is this shaking so much? What are they doing? Sweetheart, you are my queen. I love and appreciate everything you've done from that you do more than anything. Please respond. Oh. Sag. <laughs> Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? I'll save here. Should we end stream? Tab one? <laughs> I can keep going for longer. Should we keep going or no? Zero. <laughs> I kind of want to finish the castle chapter at least, because I think we're almost done. Why is there so much banging? Hopefully it's not literal banging. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> No way. We finally made our way out! Whoa, what's with all these decorations? It looks like someone is about to get married! Uh-oh, the show's about to start. Let's hide. Dude, the people sitting behind you can see you. <laughs> welcome all, welcome all. Today is the most momentous occasion. After 42 seasons of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, it is now time to air our final episode. It <laughs> has been a... Splendid for his run. Thank you all for your viewership. For as long as we have been on air, we have rigorously looked for a perfect suitor for our beloved sweetheart. And each time, regretfully, sweetheart was unable to find her one true love. But this time we believe that we have truly outdone ourselves. This is the moment to end all moments. History begins here. Dim the lights, please. The final episode begins now. Let us commence the wedding. Please welcome to the aisle, Sweetheart's perfect suitor. Is it gonna be Space Boy? Yes, it's true. Now you've seen everything. The answer has been obvious all along. The only suitor magnificent enough for Sweetheart is Sweetheart herself, everybody! <laughs> oh, that's Sweetheart. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Let us begin the ceremony. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> Sweetheart! Sweetheart's marrying herself, that's so late! Don't laugh, Kel. I actually feel kind of bad for her. Now, does anyone object to this holy matrimony? Speak now or forever hold your peace. In that case, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you... Sweetheart and sweetheart. You may now kiss the... 
I object. Stop this wedding immediately. Oh, it's Aubrey. <laughs> Don't do this, sweetheart. The wedding is a sham. Loving yourself is one thing, but this is only this is taking it way too far. Not you again. How dare you step foot back in here. Guards? Guards? Sweetheart, you're making a mistake. You can't just marry yourself. You can get married to the game. There's someone out there for you. I know it. Aubrey, what are you doing? She's gonna send us to the dungeon again. Hmm. You understand nothing, random hero fan. I was a young princess once. I too once thought there was someone for me out there in the universe. But that's all in the past now. I no longer believe in true love. I'll never love anyone else ever again. The only person I'm gonna love from now on is myself. Now guards, seize her. Um, hero, I don't think this is a good idea. <gasps> Sweetheart, listen to me. You don't have to do this. What's this? Could it be? Hero! My hero has come for me! Oh, my sweet hero! I knew you wouldn't leave me all alone like this! How you sway me with your words! Although it may be over between us, my heart has not yet forgotten you! I will give you one last chance! Marry my hero! Here and now! Do son, I will let you and your fans live. Wait, what? I can't do that, that's crazy. Uh-oh. What's this? You reject me? Again? But, how could this be? I don't understand. <laughs> uh oh now you've done it ah yes i see everything clearly now i'll admit it i was wrong about you hero i thought you were a worthy companion but it seems you're jealous of me just like everyone else yes that must be it my dazzling looks, my charming smile, my gregar- <laughs> I almost said gay. My gregarious personality. It must be so difficult for you to even stand in my presence. Well, there is no need to despair anymore. I will end your suffering. Personally. Farewell, miserable peons. I'll lock you up in the dungeon forever! But we know how to escape the dungeon, it's easy. Oh my god. Her slap did so much damage. We're gonna beat this first try, easy.
Okay, now she's happy. I think Amori has an attack that does more damage if somebody's happy. I mean, Sweetheart is pretty cute, though. Okay, right here. Axe first and attack that stronger and Oh, when Amori is happy. Fuck. Dampen my positive energy. Oh, she can no longer become happy or sad or angry. Sag. This sounds like Kirby a little bit. that could happen. alive healing everybody this round. Okay, now we're back on track. I can't use tea time on myself. That sucks. Wanted to double dip. You dare raise your fist at me? Fools. You should be graveling on your knees.
again! I hate Kel. has to be happy. Survive Kale again. Hopefully he stays alive this time. Dude, Amori's in rage now, what the fuck? <laughs> My beauty and grace are boundless and everlasting. It's a shame that you won't be able to enjoy it for much longer. Now look at him, he's scary. Utilize Aubrey's skill to lower defense for the enemy. <laughs> this was child's play. You're all nothing but a bunch of lonely peasants. To the dungeon with you. Oh, did I not heal Amori? <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> I thought I healed him. Lamo. No! No, I accidentally clicked no. Oh no. Oh thank fucking god, thank god, thank god, thank god. Oh shit. I can't skip this. <sighs> Okay, well this was the save point right before the fight, so it's not like I didn't backtrack too much. Sad. I, I literally can't skip. Wait, what was that? I pressed something. Oh, right there, I held B. Okay, try number two, everybody. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. Surely this time. Jesus Christ! Right off the bat. Pointless, you fools! You're gonna dampen my positive energy? Okay, the only thing I could do is the jam packets. What the fuck? More did not succumb. Oh my god. Dude, why is she going crazy this time? Amori's dead. <laughs> this was child's play. You're all nothing but a bunch of lonely peasants to the dungeon with you. Amori's dead. He, he didn't even get to heal. How was that run like worse when I like knew what I had to do? I think with Kel, I just need to attack. I can't be upgrading him.
somehow I should have healed Kel. Kale's gone. Kale always dies first. Why does everybody keep picking on him? Everybody else who's alive has full health. That's good. Oh, it's because Kalos and Lisa Mal only has 93. That's why he keeps dying first. You fools, you cannot dampen my positive energy. But you know whose energy I will dampen? Nonsense because we are four hours into stream, so it's time for you to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you can Prime available. After the ad, hopefully I'll beat the fight. We'll see. I don't know. Surely I will. Okay, so Sweetheart now has the lowest defense she can get. Okay, okay, okay. Raise your fists at me? Fools! You should be graveling on your knees! Hmm. 
do it. I heal and then she hits. Pointless. Beauty and grace is boundless and everlasting. It's a shame that you'll be able to enjoy it for much longer. Sweetheart becomes ecstatic. Him, everybody. Amori did not succumb. Maybe I should have been doing more fights. Awkward. Is happy for once. How? <laughs> okay, now we're back on track. Okay, an attack that is strong when Amori's happy. Easy. still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. <laughs> Sweetheart becomes manic. Okay, this is the farthest I've gotten. Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck? Oh my god. It's a good thing I collected all those jam baggots. Thank you. 
Child's play. You're all nothing but a bunch of lonely peasants to the dungeon with you. That's the third attempt. I was doing so good. Okay, I think what is tripping me up is I'm going into the fight with um. Amori having like half health. So we're gonna do, we're gonna load a save. And make sure Amori is fully healed before entering. Yeah, see like he only has 60. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna save now. That Amori has full health. Because I think wasting that one rotation to make sure he has health was bad. Okay, this run is gonna be it. I'm gonna beat it this time. Okay. Same strat as last time. Okay, when Kel passes to Amori, Amori gets happy. And when Amori is happy, then he can do that special attack that does more damage. Okay, I know what I need to do. I just need to do it.
143 damage only. Fuck you. Pointless, you fools! You cannot dampen my positive energy! How dare you eat a donut in my presence! That's new. This shit, two toys. <laughs> See, I've never had the need to like use the upgrades. Okay, so Sweeter is at max or lowest defense. Okay, Mori's angry now, so he can't do the special anymore. Come on! This fucking bullshit! You dare raise your fist at me? Fools! You should be graveling on your knees!
Okay, I'm always happy now. That's good. <laughs> My beauty and grace is boundless and everlasting. It's a shame that you'll be able to enjoy it for much longer. Sweetheart becomes ecstatic. I don't want to jinx it, but this run is going decently. It's going good. Amor's gonna be happy again, back on track. All still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. <laughs> Sweetheart becomes manic. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bunch of lowly peasants to the dungeon with you. <sighs> I'm gonna do no, and I'm gonna see if I can rearrange my skill set. Because the only, like, merit that Aubrey had was lowering the defense. And then Kel 
for this fight, there's like no skill that is good. So let's see what I can switch out for Kel. Okay, none of these are good. Well, this one could be good. Makes Aubrey and a friend happy. Okay, so I can have two upgrades for happy. Okay, this one is useless. It did nothing. Oh, axe first. Healing a friend of 40% of their heart. Wait, hold. If that can act first, I think that's beneficial than getting like a larger amount. Okay, I'm switching this out for smile, that way I can maybe reduce attack near the start of a fight. Okay. I'm gonna save. Okay, hopefully this attempt will be it. This will be the one. Look at him, W Riz. Okay, I think I have it this time. Oh, hero, my hero. Your smile charms my heart. I'll make it mine.
Okay, I feel like this one is going better so far. It's pointless, you fools! You cannot dampen my positive energy! Sweetheart becomes happy. Sweetheart can no longer become sad or angry. Okay, so sweetheart speed is at its lowest. You dare raise your fists against me? Fools! You should be groveling on your knees! My beauty and grace is boundless and everlasting. It's a shame that you won't be able to enjoy it for much longer. Sweetheart becomes ecstatic.
Hey, no one has, like, become toast yet. And that's a win in my book. I'm able to keep everybody, like, good. Hmm. I see you are still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. <laughs> Sweetheart becomes manic. Oh my fucking god. Why is she... That's literally a one-hit KO. Slap could do so much damage. Sweetheart is almost dead. Oh my god, please, please. Okay, thank god I missed an Amori. Oh my god, I got it. Okay, that was done. I'm so close. They call defeat? I cannot accept this. I will not accept this. You're all nothing but a bunch of lowly peasants. Thank God, finally. And nobody died on that run. Oh my God, 5,000 XP, holy moly. Oh my goodness. Change. Can't learn ricochet, okay. New skill unlocked. Dude, that took almost an hour. VOD watchers and shambles. <laughs> Oopsie. <clears throat> How could this be? You? You're all nothing. How dare you defy me? Throw them in the dungeon. Guards. Guards? It's over, sweetheart. The wedding is cancelled. No, I cannot accept this. Just leave me alone. What? <laughs> our boyfriend. I mean, our ex. My sweetheart. Oh, my sweetheart. Am I so relieved that I made it in time? You must stop this madness at once. Captain Spaceboy? You... you idiot! I thought I told you to never show your face in front of me again! 
Oh, sweetheart, my sweetheart, my sweet jelly-filled donut. Please look into your heart and give me another chance. I should not have kept you waiting all those days. You... What are you doing? I'm sorry I didn't do this sooner. Marry me, sweetheart. Right here on this stage. Oh my! This... This is all so sudden. How... How romantic! Sprawmo Mike, I heard of you to marry us immediately. Yes. Oh, yes I was, my liege. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Oh, forget the formalities, Mike. The true love cannot wait. Y yes, my princess. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you sweetheart and space husband. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> yeah, kids, it's blurred out for you guys. Don't worry. Oh, sweetheart, let us travel the universe together and leave all this behind. Yes, yes, my husband. I'll go anywhere as long as it, it is, as long as it is with you. Let us take leave, my sweetheart. We've been apart for much too long. Come, my ship awaits. Yes, of course, my dear. But first, there's one last thing I must do. Spramo, my hand me the button. I have once, my queen. Is she gonna like explode the place? We won't need this anymore. <laughs> okay, I was joking. <laughs> I'm ready now, dear. Oh, I'm ready now, dear. At long last, we can be together. Come on, my queen, our chariot awaits. And they lived happily ever after. Game over. So much for a happy ending. I don't think that's gonna end well at all. Yeah. I guess this was a complete waste of time. Your bond with your friends became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh no. Basil? What's the matter, Amori? Is there something wrong? It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? No. I don't- I don't want to go just yet. I want to see. Oh! Side quest. That's not where I want to go. Because remember there was that one room in the castle? Where it said to go here after the princess leaves? I want to see if I can find that room.
Soon, she will leave and not return. I know this. And when I have deemed that she has found her home elsewhere, I will look for a new owner. At that time, return to me. You with the empty eyes. Your soul is split, but you can only choose one path. It will be interesting to see what you will make of this dwelling. Okay, so I guess she hasn't gone left. So that means they're gonna break up. Sag. Okay, well, let's go into the pit of despair. The pain is gone. In the gasp! Could it be? Ah, oh, finally! Some company! <laughs> I've been alone for so long, but after what feels like an eternity, at last, I have an audience. <laughs> Who am I, you ask? Why, I'm the great up-and-coming artist, Rococo. This guy's kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. Wait, don't go. Please, listen to my story. Excuse us. Please listen. I'm so lonely. <laughs> right. Now where should I start? In the beginning was me, crying in a pod in the middle of a space. Witnessing my home planet blow right before my eyes. I can still remember it all so vividly. Fire. Fire everywhere. And then darkness. And then lightness. <laughs> and when I awoke, I found myself in the middle of a desert. Surrounded by a sea of brown sugar. In a strange land I soon learned to be called the Orange Oasis. Even as a baby, I knew I was the sole survivor of my species. The last elf in the entire universe. <laughs> so this is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I was found by none other than a young donor by the name of Sweetheart. She brought me to her family and they took me in as one of their own. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently, but she would always win. If I fought back, well... Anyway, I learned to run. And I got quite good at running. But there's only so far you can run. Yes, it was a hard time. But even through that suffering, I stood firm. But even then, I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet and survived for one reason and one reason only. To repopulate my entire species. There's a copious gap in my memory after this, so I'll fast forward a few years. At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love. We became engaged and moved to this giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I. We loved each other dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything. I was ready to spend the rest of our lives together. To grow old and to raise hundreds and hundreds of children. Hmm. Thinking about it now, I wonder if I ever made that clear to her. Anyway, continuing my story. Alas, all good times must come to an end. As Sweetheart's fan base grew, she and I grew apart as well. She began receiving gifts and letters from suitors from all over the universe, asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was vehemently against this notion, but she wouldn't have it. Sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. So, one night while I was asleep, Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and sealed me inside the walls of her castle. I have been wandering aimlessly through the darkness inside the walls ever since, surviving off all toast and tofu. 
Fast forward a few mirrors, and that brings us to now. Yes, you four are the first li living beings I've ever I've seen since that fateful day. Wow, sir. That's really, uh... a shocking story. Oh, sweetheart, why did you do it? Was I not good enough for you? Well... Sorry about everything. We're gonna go now. Wait, I'm not finished yet. For the last few years, I've had a long time to think. I kind of gave up on my dream and all that stuff now. It all seems so far away and pointless. So, I've decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. <laughs> and since I'm just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. Me launch in my store next month. For my first ever masterpiece, I will charge you one. Thousand clams. Well, what do you guys think? A thousand clams is kind of steep, isn't it? Please commission me. We uh, we'll think about it. Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Do take your time. <laughs> and we'll stand right here until then. Oh, I have 5,000 clams. Okay, I have a lot of money. A simple futon. The sheets are cheap, lumpy, and have many holes in them. Might as well, I'm rich. For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you 1,000 clams. Have you decided to assist me on my journey of self-discovery? Yeah, why not? I'm no brokey. Le Magnificent. Please return after some more advertising. After all, greatest takes time. Wait, what? Or adventuring. Oh, come on. I won't disappoint you. Can I go back now? Oh, man, I gotta come back here? That's bullshit. Minus $1,000. Okay, look, let's see what's in that giant pit, then. So these little letters must be from the artist. Rococo. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yes. Are we gonna wake up? You found a book of interest. Read an excerpt. One by one, he fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. Blank was the first to nod off, then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Blank's head accidentally dreamt onto Blank's shoulder. 
A sudden jolt wakes him, but he doesn't but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy. Very, very happy. He makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. That's cute. You know what else is cute? Watching ads, because everybody, we are five hours into stream. After the next save point, I will end. But damn, I cannot believe that fight took an hour. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for 4 99 just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad from viewing all month long. Or you can like Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime available. Get boomed. Okay, back to it. A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. That's the flower that was in the grandma's hospice room. I can't run in here. find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than Blank, holding an open juice box. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems like less than a second, Blank disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy, wet tracks all across the carpet. Blank's face turns red and yells for Blank, but Blank is already long gone. Blank holds Blank some wet hand. Blank hands Blank some wet paper towels. It looks like they're the only adults here, and if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet is going to stain. They'll have to deal with Blank later. You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. It was a hot summer day and all Blank could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn across the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to Blank and Blank's work. All day, Blank watched Blank lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched Blank hang hammer his fingers over and over and made, and made note that over an hour to pass since Blank has climbed down her ladder. I will be just... I will be... I will just be the moral support, Blank thought as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course he knew that this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. Blank knows this and agrees, but reluctantly, he slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be the hottest day of summer. Hmm. I saw somebody. It looked like they were in like a hospital gown. Wait, were we building a treehouse and then somebody died? Was there, like, an accident? You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. This year, Blank was lucky enough to get an get. This year, Blank was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day, every day during class, Blank would gaze listlessly through the opening. 
and the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere, into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. Blank stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed, one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his reverie. Blank looks away from the opening. Blank smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Blank's stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. Can reach that ladder. Oh wait, I can. <laughs> you find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engraving illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Blank jumps first, then blank, then blank again, then blank again. The brothers gleefully urge blank to join them, and after some careful thought, blank warily agrees. Blank shuffles up to the statue, looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling in his shoulder, and his eyes fly open to meet up, to meet with those of a black spider. In an instant, Blank loses all his sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He is too weak, too helpless, or that is what he believes. Blank shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. Did Mari drown? Trying to save Amori? Oh, no. Chaos. You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Blank looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He would be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. Blank grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Uh oh. Something opened. Oh, can I not- Oh, I can, I can. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to go in there yet. Can I go back? Oh, nothing happened. <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to go there yet. Ooh, a key. L. Seven keys left. Okay, I think that's the way out. Can I go back? I'm going back. <laughs> there was a person there. I'm scared. K. 
¿Qué es eso? Part of this shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. Okay, brace yourself for a jump scare, everybody. <gasps> Ain't no way. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. No, I missed something, didn't I? Oh no, can I go back? There was something there. There was another room. Damn. Any new pictures? Nope. Damn it. Okay, you know what I gotta do. You know what I gotta do. Time to wake up. Two days left. Man, there was something in that room. I wonder who was at the door today. gonna be Aubrey. Hello? Hello? Sonny? Are you there? I'm opening the door. It's my friend Kel. Hi, Sonny. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> well, more like noon, actually. Turns out I was not coming back until around dinner today. So I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mama's having me buy some stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funner if we went together. Did you want to come along, Sonny? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go. Okay, everybody, let's save. There we go. Okay, wait. Okay, I kind of want to see if I can go back and see what was in that room. Wait, have I talked to the artist yet? Let me check. I'm gonna double check, because I might override this, that new save I made. Oh, I think I did. Okay, I did, I did. I just want to see what was in that little cubby. Because maybe it's important.
I don't want to get a bad ending. I'm going to do everything the same, except at the very end. Because I think in order to trigger the key spawning, you need to read all the stories. Okay, I can't... Oh, I'm holding B, I'm holding B. Wait, Mari? Because, like, I assume the boxes represent the, how many characters or letters are in the person's name. And Mari and Hero have the same amount of letters. Because Kel is 3, Mari 4, Hero 4, and then Aubrey, A-U-B-R-E-Y. Because, like, the, some of the stories we're talking about brothers. So it's obvious that it's talking about Kel and Hero. And then the one with one key character is Sunny. Or Omori. Oh, see, look. That shadow again. Kianas. I think that person in the gown is the person who's in the room that I missed. Because there was a shadowy figure. I think it's funny how they call their weekly hangout a special occasion. I think that's just another indicator of like how lonely or reclused Mori is normally. Something opened. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, it's Basil. Oh, there's a picnic basket here. Ah, yes, some delicious fruits. Would you like to eat some? 
Yes. You feel better. Dude, me when I eat food. Okay. <laughs> There's a picnic basket, so let me do a quick little save. Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Yes, sir. A grand piano. The word Omori is etched across the center. The wall feels hollow here. Yeah, it looks like there's gaps in the bookshelves. Seven keys left. Part of this shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into it. Yes, sir. Okay, so it looks like the only real difference is that there was a save point. And that we saw Basil spawn. So I, I don't... I mean, I'm glad I went back, but... Hmm... Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Yep, I, you know what I gotta do. Reset. Two days left. I think whenever Amori wakes up and there's somebody banging at the door... I think it's another illusion that his friends will kind of break him out of his, I guess, mental escapism. Because anytime we wake up, there's always somebody banging at the door. We're going to open the door. That way we don't miss on out on the actual lore. Hi, Sonny. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> well, more like noon, actually. It turns out Hero's not coming back until dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy some stuff at Farway Plaza before he comes back, and I thought it might be funner if we went together. Did you want to come along, Sonny? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go. Okay, now we're gonna save Edith's dream. <laughs> Now I'm gonna override this last one so I don't get confused. Okay. Now, my thoughts. I don't know why the boss fight took me an hour. And the sun is going down. That's why I only have like my ring light that you can see. I don't have natural light anymore. But chat is what you guys think.
we can do calligraphy because we did have somebody redeem. And I'm very hungry because it is currently 4.30 and I'm supposed to eat dinner at 4. Smile. I don't know if the, my mic was picking it up, but my stomach was growling. <laughs> Yes, I have two phones. Okay, let's do calligraphy. Oh my god, it works. Oh, wait. Okay, you guys know the drill. If you donate to the channel or use your channel points, I will write your name. And what is this? Ain't no way sketch cards. If you give five subs to the channel by the end of the month, you will get a custom card made for you. We did do those on stream yesterday for the February gifters, so hopefully everybody liked them. Okay. <clears throat> so we had Keelan Redeem Rainbow. Okay, there we go. If anybody wants to write me, if anybody wants me to write their name, redeem. I'll give you guys ten seconds this time. Okay, got five. Four, three, two, and one. We're done. We're done. Okay, so I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out today. We have two days left in game, and I think we started with four days. So we're probably halfway through because i think the game is like 20 hours but of course it's gonna take me longer because i took me an hour to beat the fucking sweetheart bus awkward <laughs> so i don't know if i'll go live on this channel tomorrow but i might go live on my art channel it is tagged in the title so make sure you're following i'll also link it in the chat so it, it's twitch.tv slash peace in underscore art we might do calligraphy tomorrow we'll see if i'm up for it or not but I will for sure be live on this channel Thursday for the Mario Kart New Wave DLC Blend Reactions. So make sure you're watching. And then Friday is Mario Day. So look forward to that, everybody. Um, thank you all for hanging out. And I will see you guys later. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oops. <laughs> Wrong scene. Omega oh, <laughs> So stupid. It, I, I get so scared because... Like, clicking the wrong scene can be, like, detrimental one time. That's why you make sure you close all your tabs before you stream. Dude, I am so hungry, though. <laughs> For my meal prep this week, I made myself pasta and has ricotta and then alfredo sauce, and it's really fucking good. Joe, fun stream today. Hopefully, catch the next one. Yeah, for sure. 
Um, like I said, I might go live on the art channel tomorrow, so make sure you're following peace and underscore art. I'll see, look, I have an appointment tomorrow, so if I'm up for it. But yeah, thank you for hanging out. You were here the whole time, Keelan. Thank you. Okay, ending stream. Bye-bye. I'm Markiplier. <laughs>